You get it? <laughs> Welcome back everybody, and for those of you who don't know me, my name is Drew, and I make videos here on YouTube based on graphic design, illustration, and just a bunch of fun stuff. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and turn on notifications for new videos. So in today's video, we're going to take this old college mascot, and we're going to turn it into this one. We're going to do this all in Procreate, and I'm going to take you through the sketching, line art, coloring process and we'll get our final results. So if you want to follow along, make sure to uh, check the links below. I'll put links to the original artwork and let's get started. So to begin, I'm just going to paste in the old peacock and start sketching um, rough lines on the outside. Of course, I'm not going to do the exact same, but you know, you kind of want to keep the same fundamental shape um, and legs and everything like that. So I'm just going to start adding new elements as well as continuing over the old ones. So I'm going to speed it up here and let's do it. I wish I could work this fast, that'd be amazing. Definitely the first time I've ever made a peacock, so uh, can't really stress enough, at least in my style, that how important references are. So, you know, Google other uh, peacocks or peacock mascot, you know, that kind of stuff, and see what you find. You might get inspired by something. Um, I found a lot of like characters from kids' TV shows and things like that but with the peacock feathers on the tail I wanted to make sure that they are all hitting the same point and to do this I turn on a uh, perspective guide so to do that tap your wrench icon in the top left turn on your reference layer and edit your reference layer to a perspective and then tap a place on the image where you want all the lines to meet you can change the colors and stuff of it there too but um, that'll give you your guide and I just used that to make sure all my sketch lines were kind of leading towards the same point and it really just helps keep things um, looking clean and aligned. I tried it without it and it was a mess, so definitely recommend perspective guides.
Okay, so there we have it. I'm done with my sketch. I'm gonna use this to move into my line art and um, I'm just gonna fade the layer of, of the opacity down to like 30% is kind of my golden number. And I'm just gonna start drawing lines on it. So using my monoline brush and my studio pen that I've kind of tweaked, uh, link below if you wanna download them. They're free, it's just a Google Drive link. Um, I also have my sketch brush in there, so feel free to grab that and try them out. You can kind of see my personality in uh, my artwork here. I jump all over the place and um, I'll be working on the feet, jump to the feathers, you know, it's just kind of my style. And maybe, maybe you relate, maybe you don't, but that's the cool thing about art. Is, uh, there's a lot of really endless ways to get a similar result. I know that these feathers look like uh, fish right now. They kind of, to me, they look like a bunch of fish sticking up. I don't know if you see it or not, but when I was adding these black dots, I'm like, ah, oh, these look like fish, dead fish or something. So I, I will tweak that going with the color. I'll make, make it not look so much like a fish. All right, but there we go. We got our lines are pretty much in. Um, and to do the coloring, remember to use your reference layer. So make your line art layer, the reference, add a color layer underneath it, and start dragging and dropping colors right into uh, inside the lines. You know, and this is good. We're not going to do it in this video, but this is a good practice if you're going to add shadows or highlights. You can easily add clipping masks on top, and that way you're keeping everything clean and organized. So uh, it's just a good practice. So back to the colors. And there we go, there's the original version, and here is the new version. So I think this turned out pretty cool. You know, this is like a character mascot, nothing too fancy. So if you like this video and uh, kind of like the idea of recreating old artwork, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll be doing a ton of this 
in the future. Um, so I'd love to have you back and comment below if you have an example or something that you would like to see recreated. I'd love to do it. So thanks again. And as always, peace out. 